just another manic Monday. I wish it was Sunday. That's my fun day. But it's Tuesday. Let's do this. things. I will be drawing things today. It is true. More like, um, more like coloring things. I gotta catch up. That's right, D. Brad says it's Manic Tuesday. Tuesdays are my Mondays. Yeah, man. I feel you, man. I hear ya. D. Brad is here. All up in the house. All up in the electric milk creations. Wonderful. Cartooning art studio. I have my suite. I'm going to bring it to you. I am doing it. I can't fit the whole can of soda in my cup. I'm going to do a dangerous thing right now. There it is. Oh, look at that ice. The ice is foaming, it's brewing. I'm going to put my lid on there. That's delicious. We shall proceed now. Proceed now with magic. Okay, these. I have to color these. I have to get them in the mail to people. So, I was deciding. I told myself, I said, hey, self, why don't you color them live on the air? And I'm like, yes, that's a good idea. Henceforth, famous cartoonist draws things. It should be famous cartoonist colors things. But we're going to do this. These are my prints. They're available on my website right now. My Star Wars prints. These are prints of my paintings. These are painting mini card prints. They're really cool. See the backs have me on there. That one's me. A lot of people think it's George Clooney, but it's me. There's a series. This one's called Solo. Sith. Ahsoka. Bosk. Vader, and R2-D2. That's series one. Those are cool. They're on my website right now. There's a link. There's a link in the video. And then here's series two is Batman. Batman versus the Joker. Batman doing the Batusi. Joker showing you his pearly white yellow teeth. There's Batman kind of hanging out with the bats. There's Batman hanging out in the city. And there's... <laughs> Crazy Joker. He also has yellow teeth. And on the back, as you can see, the backs are cool. And they have the names of each guy. Joker, Bat City, Batman, Mr. J, Bat Tusi, and Versus. This is a cool one, though. We're going to do this while the music loads. Okay, now's the time we hand dance. Okay, I'm going to draw these. I'm going to color these. I got Usagi. I drew them last week on my, on my show. Usagi, Yako, and Sleepwalker. I have, I have to erase. I have to erase some lines, but I always let the, the ink sit for a few days, a day or two. And then I go back and color them. Because if I if the ink's still fresh, like I could see where it's pulled right there, the eraser might lift it. So I don't want that to happen. So I will move on right now. I will I will erase some of these. Nobody everyone does drawing shows, but no one ever does erasing shows. Nobody but the famous cartoonist Art Baltazar. And I erase with this highly sophisticated Stadler Mars Plastic. 
It's from Mars. It's Mars plastic. It's only found on the surface of Mars. And then they mine it in space. And then they deliver the eraser to Earth. They only deliver the parts to make the eraser. And then they assemble them other high intense heat lamps and they mold it together and form it in this shape. And it even comes with the paper. The paper is from Mars too. The, the drawing, the artist is from Mars and he drew that pencil. And you can see I used that much. I used about approximately one quarter inch of this eraser throughout my 20 years. As you can see, I don't erase much. But when I have to, the eraser from outer space is the one I choose. The Mars eraser. And they bring it to Earth on the Mars rover. Don't know why it's Mars, but that's what I'm assuming. It says all that on here, made in Mars. Let's see. Yep, it's in Spanish. For paper and film, papel and et film, películas. Made in Germany. See, there's a city on Mars called Germany, as well as here, because it's mirrors. It's like an Earth, too. So that's where they manufacture the material when they get from Mars. They take it to Germany, and they say, hey, man, let's make these erasers for these cartoonist guys drawing on their live streams. Henceforth, I am a demographic. I am a target audience. You didn't know all of that. I didn't even know that until today. I didn't know any of that. But it's all true, man. It's all true. Every bit of it. So while you're drawing with your things, sometimes you got to wonder, where did this art supply come from? Where did this highly sophisticated eraser come from? Where did this squid ink come from? This squid ink is from the depths of the specific ocean. Not Pacific. It's the specific ocean. So I don't know what it, I don't know what ocean it is specifically, but it is a specific ocean. It should be a joke in Gilbert. The specific ocean. It's very specific. See there he is. He's nice and clean. He's ready for color. And these Mars plastic, Mars plastic, the plastic eraser, which is cool because. It's gentle on the on the board. It's gentle. So it will not leave won't, won't marks. Won't, 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 won't. It won't do that. You make no sense, Balthazar. And if you if you're wondering right now, I'm erasing while I stand. I'm standing much the way I paint and color with the easel and stuff. Moving the body, you know? Burning calories while I draw. Trimming. You thought I was going to say trimming the fat, but I'm not going to say that. I don't know what I'm saying. Just what they call it, freestyling. I had to dump this. This is my water bucket. I had to dump it because when I erase, the table shakes. Sometimes things fall. Sometimes water splashes. And it'd be bad if it splashed on some artwork if I've already done. You know what I mean to me? So, <laughs> I'm going to be extra careful. I didn't get to draw that much over the weekend. I did, however, write some stories in my sketchbook. Drew and Jot number two is finally finished, like story wise. I just got to draw it. I've been, I was drawing late last night, but man, yesterday was rough. Yesterday was a rough day. It was rough for me physically, spiritually, mentally, all of it, all of, all of the lees. Spiritually, mentally, physically. Yesterday felt like Sunday. That's because I messed up my days. See, Monday felt like Sunday, but su Sunday felt like a Thursday. So that was the weird part. And Saturday felt like Saturday, but then when I woke up the next day, I'm like, oh, two more days to the weekend. And then when the weekend finally came, I felt like I passed it up already because it was Sunday. See, Sunday, Easter Sunday. We played in the backyard. I played toss across. What is that? Cornhole? We played cornhole. I never knew it was called cornhole until I watched the cornhole competition 
on the uh, on the Roku. There's a cornhole channel on the Roku. And this guy's throwing beanbags into a hole. So I did that with the family. We threw beanbags into a hole. And um, I lost every time. I lost. But it was real fun. We laughed. There was joy. There was love shared. There was joyful glee. I passed around in the backyard. If you were on the outside of my backyard looking into my backyard, you would say, hey, man, I want to be in that backyard. That's a cool backyard. Look at that guy who looks like George Clooney throwing a cornhole. I want to be with that guy. I want to eat what they're eating. We didn't even eat anything. We had uh, we made hot dogs. That's what we made for Easter. <laughs> we made hot dogs and they ate outside. That's how you do it here in the famous cartoonist Electric Milk Art Studios. We did. It's, true. it's all true, man. All of it's true. Today I'm wondering what should I do? Should I get them? Should I go to Harold's again today? Should I get them Harold's chicken today? I don't want the family to get tired of Harold's. Even though it's my obsession. I love it. It's part of my life. It's like watching the White Sox. I know they're going to lose, but I still need to watch them. Now, they, they won yesterday. They did pretty good. It was six. I think it was six to nothing. Swig. Swig for the White Sox. Swig, if you got it, this is what it looks like. It's filled with beverage. All right. Before I delve into this with coloring, I'm going to see what you guys are saying. While I'm still standing and stuff. It's hard to sit up when I'm standing. When I'm already sitting, you know? Oh, uh, nobody's saying anything. It's okay. You got your hands up. I mean, I am going to tell you a story about our food pick up for the Well, bam! Easter was well, bam! People are watching them. That's good. I am going to tell you a story. I got some sniffles. So let's add some. I'm going to go with some color first. What color should we do first? Put some. Right, I, still, I still got some paint pencil on there. See, part of the art is erasing. Getting rid of what you don't need. Pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, the toothy, the toothy paper is really good for crayons. It's really nice. So it's good to have toothy paper for crayons. I'm going to tell you a story. When I created Drew and Jot, which is now being published by Boom Studios, I, my, I had my little baby boy. He was only about three months old. He was little. He was so small, I couldn't. If I put him somewhere, he would be there when I got back, you know? <laughs> it's like he wouldn't crawl away. He would still be there. He was so small, he couldn't move. He might roll over, but he would always be there. So... I got him to fall asleep, and he fell asleep on me, like on my lap. I didn't want to move, because if I moved, I would run the risk of my baby boy waking up crying. I don't want that. It took him a long time to fall asleep. So I had a notebook. I had a notebook and some markers and crayons next to me. And I said, I want to create a comic book, but I want to create something while he's sleeping. I'm going to see how much, how many pages can I draw while this little baby boy sleeps? How far can I get? So I said, I'm going to draw it the fastest I can. The quickest, fastest, 
silliest comic that I can. And I ended up drawing three chapters of Drew and Jot. I created them right on the spot. I'm like, I don't know what these guys are, but I call them the Drew, Drew, the protector of the universe. That's what his original name was. And then Baby Boy woke up, and I don't know if I went back to it again. I might have, but it's originally on my, um, the original pages are on my old website. You can probably find it. You got to search it, I think. But I put them up there for the world to see. So then, a little while later, I got a call or an email from my good friend Whitney at Boom Studios. And she said, I'm looking for some things that we could publish. And I said, okay. And she said, do you have anything? Famous cartoonist, our Baltazar. And I said, I have this thing that I created a long time ago while my baby was sleeping on my lap. <laughs> and she said, look, can I see that? And I said, yes. So I sent it to her. And she liked it. And henceforth, I got a three book deal. Can you do this? For us? I'm like, yes. And that was it. That was how it happened. I always have something. I always say you got to have it in a chamber, ready to go. You got to have something locked and loaded in the chamber. Because once, once in a while, you're going to get that call. You're going to get that call that says, hey, man, you got anything for us to see? We're interested in publishing one of your comics. And I had it rock, locked and loaded. You know, I... It was just weird because I just uploaded the Drew and Jot pages to my website, which the ones, the original ones that I made when my little baby was sleeping on me. And that's what was fresh on my mind when she asked me, what do you have? What do you got? What do you got, man? What do you got? Because you don't want to walk in a room and they say, what do you got? And you don't want to say, um, nothing. Because then they're like, oh, whatever. They don't, they won't talk to you. So always have something. They said, what do you got? And they said, I got something. And they're like, oh, just say, yeah, I got something. And then think about it real quick. What do you have? So I had Drew and Jot, and then that's what I sent them. I sent them a few other things. But I can't remember what the other things were. They were things that I already had, probably Spider Monkey, Meteor Mite, stuff like that. Those guys always get passed by. Spider Monkey, Meteor Mite, they always get passed by. I don't know. If it's because they're too silly or too weird, or maybe because they're superheroes, maybe because they're tied to oh yeah comics. I'm not sure why, but I'm the kind of guy who, if no one else is going to publish my book, I'll do it myself. I'll do it anyway. So it's just going to happen. I'm going to do it myself. So rejections don't hurt me. I just, in, in other words, like if I get a rejection, I always say, oh, good. Now I can own it. You know, so I can do it myself now. That's usually how it goes for me. And recently I was on another call. This just happened about, about two weeks ago, maybe. It's very recent where it was the same thing. It was a, a, it was a conference call I had with people from the industry, Hollywood, cartoon people, all kinds of people, book people. They're all in the same company right now and they said hey man you got anything we could see you got anything that's fresh something that you're working on that no one else knows about and of course my answer is yes i do and we talked for about two hours about stuff it was pretty cool and um henceforth i ended up sending them a bunch of things so i'm waiting to hear back to see what happens but but while I was talking to them, I said, um, I know that a lot of times, like when we pitch ideas to companies, pitch things, things don't come through. Like, and I remember pitching a lot of things that never go through or I don't get the job or something like that happens. So I told them, <laughs> this is exactly what I told them. I said, so if my pitches don't go through, it's okay. I'm going to end up publishing myself somehow anyway. And then she said to me, that's exactly why we're talking to you. <laughs> and I'm like, because I'm going to publish them anyway. 
So <laughs> that was pretty cool that they said that. That's exactly why we're talking to you. Because I don't just have one idea. I have multiple. I have ideas every day. And they're always in my sketchbook, and they're ever-changing. And if there's, a, if there's a story that I don't like right away, but I'll save the design. I'll save the design for uh, sometimes for years and years. Like I created Drew and Jot in 2003, my son was born. So it had to have been 2003. He was born in August of 2003. So he was three months, September, October, November, December. He was around, he was around, uh, he was around November or December of 2003. And he's sleeping. He doesn't talk. He cries all the time. He's a baby, baby. He's a real tiny baby. So I created that Drew and Jot. And then in 2010, whenever it was, when was it, 16, 17? Boom Studios calls me like 17 years later. They're like, hey, man, what do you got? And I'm thinking, damn, what do I got? <laughs> so I said, I got this. And they're like, that's cool. And I went, thanks, man. Thanks, bro. That's what I said, just like that. I got this. And they said, that's cool. And I went, thanks, man. Let's do it. And they're like, okay. So I'm almost done with book two, which is fun because I like it, but it feels like it's, it feels like nobody cares, Balthazar, because the pandemic messed us up a little bit. They added some time to our publishing venture, which kind of messed up. I don't like that. I don't like that uh, COVID. The delay, so push back. It's pushed my book back about a, a year. But the only thing good about that was I had time to complete it. I had a little more time to complete it. But I like having the pressure. I want to get it done faster. Because when there's no pressure on stuff, you seem to it seems to take forever. It seems to take forever to get done. I rather get stuff done fast, man, real fast, fast and on time. Because then when I take my time, it seems like, oh, he's busy. He's busy. You know what I mean? So it's a long story, Baltazar. All right, we're back. How's he look? Yeah! You guys can't even see him. Yeah! I'm to add stuff to the background here. Let's see if that works. Let me see if that works. Sometimes things don't work, I just try it. If it doesn't work, it stays on there. <laughs> How's that work? How's it work, Baltazar? I don't know things work. You have to have a calculated plan, bosses are. I guess so. Some people do. I don't. I go for it, man. I wing it. I always say, let's see what see what happens if I do this. I'm gonna color these flowers. Let's see what happens when I do this. I think you already know what's gonna happen, bosses are. No, I'm gonna use this red. Look, I'm gonna add red. Red is not even an element in this drawing yet, but I'm adding it. It's mostly blue and green, but not as red. He's screaming at these. He's screaming at these leaves. I'm even gonna add a little bit to the little bit to the smoke on here. These clouds bring out the pink a little bit. What do you guys think? Is that cool? That's good, right? I need a swig. Swig. Swig for my homies. Swig for my G's sitting at home with babies. Ah. I think that's good. I think this is ready to see the mail. I'm going to go unprecedented now, and I'm going to add red to this green here. What are you doing, Baltazar? You can't do that. You can do whatever. 
Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you still got to eat dinner, go back to bed. So, so how was your day? How was your day, honey? I added purple to the green grass. You did? That won't happen. I said nothing. The world was better because no one ever did that ever in the world. In the history of coloring, I invented that. You can't do that. So, yeah, watch. Here's what it looks like when I do that. Here's what it looks like. You didn't think I could, but I did. You can't do that, Paul Lazar. Not allowed. Say, just put a little bit of blue on these. Say, I went off. See, it went off the fingers right there. I don't not wear my glass holes, but I'm sitting far away from it. That's why I'm standing up. I can see it. That is it. I think that's it. That one's going to go. This one's getting shipped out. I got to wrap all these up. Next, I'm going to work on Yakko. It says Jip. Chip, chip. Let's see. You can tell I always start with the light color first. Always go with yellow. Always, always. Before I finish, I want to see if you guys are commenting. So far, it's only me and Deep Red seeing stuff. Oh, look at that. More people are here. The seat. Adam is here. Oh yeah, Adam. Michael says, "Hi, Susagi." Daryl Hine is here. Will you ever draw Sonic characters? I like to do Sagi Jimbo. Are you working on in the video? Cool, man. I can draw Sonic. I like Sonic. Always possibility. Now that the weather's getting nicer in our part of this country, are there more chances of pooping on pooping on the side? There is a huge chance. I'm getting the camera ready. You might see some footage of the in the woods. Love the pile of crayons. Like you see on every kid's birthday at the beginning of time. Right, man? That's what you gotta do. I'm a big I'm a very basic crayon kind of guy. I got sniffles. I only use these. I get, I don't use a lot of colors. These are all the colors I need. Right here. That's it. I got red. You got red. Of course, you need red, blue. You got red and blue and yellow. That's all superheroes. Then you got gray for Batman. Gray is here. It's real tiny. Then you got brown for, uh, oh, I got two of them. One to eat. One's like a Tootsie Roll. You get brown for things. And then you got this nice purple. is like a Joker purple or Riddler or Green Goblin. And here's green for the Hulk and for grass. I always put grass green on there. And here's a darker green to highlight that. And then I got several oranges. This is orange. These oranges are a little different. One's a little lighter. It's like Firestar skin, Firestar's hair, and then... Firestar Shadows. That's the way you think about it. And then I got pink. I got two pinks. They're the same. I just grabbed two. Carnation pink. They're kind of the same. They might be different, but they look the same. And of course, that controversial skin tone. But I got others. See? Mix these together. Have some very nice biracial people. Then I got the lighter blue. And this one's another repeat of that color. Purples. Blue violet and purple violet. Blue violet's dark. I usually throw this one away. I get rid of it. But I sometimes, when I use this, I use this for a shadow. Then a black crayon for shadows, darks. And another green one, same thing. So all I really need is, this is the boring part of the show, kids. Let's see. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I got 21 colors here. But also, there's some repeats. So I got about I got about 18, 18 colors. So a box of 16 crayons is my ideal crayon. You don't need this box of 64 because there's too, way too many. You're not gonna you're gonna be picking up colors that you think are the color you need. 
but it will not be. And you'll be like, man, that's not the white, right red. Because look at, there's what Crayola does. Look at all these colors. All these colors. The paper, if I showed you just the paper, it's all the same. But you got to read them. Scarlet is the best red, but it looks like orange. And then this one is red orange, but it's not scarlet. I don't even have red here. I got rid of it. It's this is the better one. Red is all right, but it's uh it's kind of dark. The Crayola red is dark. I like the scarlet. Scarlet looks good. See, look at that. Look at that red. Look how nice it looks. You know what I mean, man? I'm getting all controversial here today on the show. Oh, I just put some I just put some schmutz on here. Didn't mean to do that. Because once once you get an error, you cover it with crayon, it stays on there. It's okay. You make it work, man. Make it work. Make it work, man. Sammy Davis Jr. is always here with me. He says, yeah, man. It's like, hey man. What are you doing, man? Sammy. Okay. Let's see what I got here. See, I like to work light to dark. That's the way you do it. You can't work dark to light. Because once you put the dark on there, no other color will cover it except for another dark. It's true, man. It's true. Shut up, Balthazar. Yeah, I know. You guys don't like my controversial ways. Sometimes I could be a controversial figure. You never know what kind of character you're going to get on this show. Did you hear what he's saying now? Today I had Razor Brand Crunch for breakfast and coffee. I had a cup of coffee, some Razor Brand Crunch. I'm thinking it's I'm thinking it's healthy, right? It's the raisin part that makes it healthy, that makes it sound healthy. But he had raisins. He's such a good boy, you know. But I'm not sure because it still felt like I was eating uh, candy, like nuts, like chips or something. I like cereal, but I don't eat it all the time. Mostly I eat cereal when I'm on the road at a convention. Because you go to the hotel. You go to the hotel and you eat cereal. It's true. It's all true, man. Cornflakes is my usually go-to. I just I'm a simple guy. I like simple classic things. I don't need anything fancy. Should I go for flesh tone? Some of that in there? Yeah, look at that. Add in a nice tint. I might even throw some orange in there. But orange would be too close to that. So maybe. So I build up the wax. So you get the waxy build up with the lighter colors. Go back and get some, get some more out. Look at that. A little bit more pressure. You can see my strokes. I'm glad I'm doing this. This needs to be done. Because whenever I come downstairs to start work, I jump at the computer. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, this. I open up all the things. And then I forget about all these little things I need to do. Commissions, man. These are people waiting. People waiting for the fabulousness. So today is dedicated to getting packages out. 
after I do this, I'm going to, um, I got a few things I got to wrap up. I got to send paintings, man. I've been telling Anthony Latch that his painting is going out. I got to actually, I just got to put a few more tape. I got cardboard on it. I need to put more tape on it. I need to sol solidify this thing. And I will be taking a trip to the post office probably tomorrow with a lot of stuff. So I apologize, Anthony Latch. Your silver server will be on his way. Will be on the way. It's true. So I got a little bit of a little bit of a green line here. There we go. Today is Tuesday, of course. Taco Tuesday. Just another Manic Monday. Manic Monday special on Tuesday. There it is. It's Yako. His colors are pretty basic. They're pretty basic, yo. Pretty basic, man. All right, we're going to go. I think I'm going to bring it in. Bring it in red and yellow. What do you think? Should I do pink? Pink and red. Yeah, let's do that. Because then if I do pink, this will stand out. This yellow will pop more. If I put yellow in the background, it's going to push that back. See? That was calculated there. I made a calculated risk, Lord Vader. So you know what you're talking about, Baltazar. Here, what color should these dust? What color should the dust be? How about yellow? I'm gonna do yellow. Is that to bring it up? Or bring the yellow up like that. Where's he going where his yellow dust balls are? Yellow dust balls. Dust balls. Alright, let me see. Let me add some orange. Subdue it back. Kick it back a little bit of orange. You can't draw Baltazar. I hear that all the time, man. It's happening, man. It's happening. We're doing coloring magic on Famous Cartoons Draws Things today. I believe it's episode 107 or 108. I just started combining the drawing shows with the talking shows. Because they started becoming one. I switched to cameras. I go from talking to drawing to talking. And then to drawing. Then back to talking. And then drawing. So I figured it's all the same, man. Because you're hearing me talk anyway. The only thing bad, I'm not as interactive with you. Because I can't see the comments are over there. That way. <laughs> All right. Time for a swig. Time to swig. Swing it up if you have it. That's delicious. It's nice and cold. I like when things are cold. Man made. Ice is a man made thing, you know. It's artificially frozen water, it's not frozen by nature. Our machine, we have a machine that makes it into ice. Let's think about that for a little bit. Where would we be without the refrigerator or the air conditioner? The air conditioner, refrigerator, the toilet, those are things we need every day. If we didn't have one of those things, people would be crying. If I didn't have ice, if I don't have ice, it ruins my day. I need ice, man. Ice. Ice man. I need ice man. I'm here, Firestar, Ice Man. I'm here, Spider Friends. So think about that. What would you do if you had no ice? 
What would you do if you had no toilet? <laughs> contemplating thoughts. Contemplative. Not contemplating the thoughts. Contemplative thoughts. Just things that grow. One to grow on. And that's... What's, what's the G.I. Joe say? That's the adventure? Half the adventure or something? Oh, knowing is half the... Half the battle. I don't know. I didn't grow up watching G.I. Joe. So I apologize for anybody who did. He's like, so now it goes, Baltazar. Knowing is half the battle. Finally, you got to look it up on your stupid phone. And that's the best insult for every anything I've realized. Just call him stupid. Stupid hat, stupid phone, stupid haircut. Goes a long way. <laughs> Shut up, Baltazar. All right, how's he look? Yep, jip. So I got two down. I got one more to go. Here's what they look like thus far. They look cool, right? I'm going to see if you guys are saying anything. If anybody cares. Nobody cares, Baltazar. Shut up and draw your stuff. Well, yeah, you guys are saying things. There's a lot of crayon talk. The crayon discussion going on here. D. Brad says, I remember red, orange, and orange, red. Hmm. Which one should I pick? Right. One was slightly off. One was the other way. Hi, I walked by Harold's on Milwaukee Avenue today. It thought of me. Oh, thanks, man. You can go in there and buy one chicken strip if you want to. They'll serve it to you for a dollar. I've done it before. I might do that today. Maybe I'll go buy strips today. If you become too controversial and get canceled in Chicago, Denver will welcome you. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. I kind of like straddle the line of controversy on this famous cartoon that says things. I should do a 24 hour podcast. Famous cartoon that says things for 24 hours. Adam says, What is this toothy paper called? Might need to get my hands on something. I'm going to show you. I'm going to look. It is Stradmore Bristol. It is Stradmore Bristol paper, but it is not. Let's see. That's what it's called. Oh. Stradmore Bristol vellum. It says, vellum finish is excellent for any dry media, including pencil, charcoal, and pastel. Ideal for practicing airbrush techniques. So it's uh yeah it's uh vellum. I never used vellum, but I came across I got a bunch of art pads I got. One of my friends retired and he says, Here, hey man, here's my stuff, man. And I went, thanks. So it's called vellum. But it's pretty cool, it's a nice texture. And it's uh I usually draw on Stradmore Bristol smooth, but this one is called vellum. I don't normally buy vellum. But this is pretty nice. The only thing about it is it curls a little bit. See, it's a little curly. But it's still good, though. I, I like it. I also draw on Stradmore Bristol Smooth Paper. I'm going to show you that, too. I'm going to show you what else I draw on. I draw on this stuff too. I like this stuff because Katie Cook draws on it. See, I got paint on it. But this is called so Stradmore Bristol Smooth. There it is for lined. But this is really smooth. This is uh I like the toothy paper better. This is this is real smooth. See, it's got the lines on there. Once in a while I'll draw on this. But I still have like three pads of this left. 
Because I don't, I don't draw on um, comic boards too often, but I do draw on them. That's Katie Cook's character right there. It looks like it might be her even. I'm going to see what else you guys are saying. Then I'm going to color the rest. It's true, man. Better do it. What else you guys say? Scotty says, is this a commission piece? Yes. Yeah, these are commission pieces. They're um, they're $50 for a character or $60 for two. And then I... Uh, they, I, then I draw them out here live on the show. It's true, man. Adam says, we do care. And shut up and draw, Baltazar. I got you, man. I'm here. <laughs> Love watching a master at work. Oh, thanks, brother. I don't know if I'm a master. I'm just learning what everyone else shows me. Yeah. Johnny Fitz is here. Oh, yeah, Johnny Fitz. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good, man. D. Brad wants to know. Did you get any Easter chocolate? Um, I did not. <laughs> but I bought some Easter chocolates. I did not receive any. But I did buy a tray of those Cadbury eggs. But they were mini ones. So they were not as good as the larger size or the regular size. The mini ones seem to be dense. They're not as creamy in the middle. They're a little dense. Kind of like when you talk to friends and they don't really pay attention. What are you, dense? It's kind of like that. But they were okay. They got the job done when we were craving chocolate. So here, have one of these. And they're smaller. So it feels like you're uh, not cheating on your diet, I guess, if you have one of those diets. Okay, let's see what this is. Let's see. You know, I have to look up. I think he's blue with a purple and red eyes. But I don't want to do it wrong. Then I cannot I cannot change coloring. Or does he have a pink face? I think his face is blue. I'm gonna look it up on my handy dandy device right here. I have there's an effect. Oh yeah, and today, just to, to double check. Today is officially Happy Good Today Day. That's today. Happy Good Today Day. Let me look up the Sleepwalker fellow. I just bought a hat yesterday. I'm going to show you what I bought. I just bought a hat. It has a hot pepper on it. I just bought one of these hats. It's pretty cool. See it? I just ordered one of these. It should be coming next few days or so but let me look up this sleepwalker so when i went on the internet right now to look up that's what uh the hat popped up oh he's got a green arm he's got a, oh see i would have got him wrong here's the here he is he's got one green arm and a green face all right let's do that then I didn't realize I was going to color his face blue. See, it would have been wrong. Wrong, Baltazar. She'd use reference. I usually don't need reference. But I'm good. I'm glad I used it today because today is Happy Today Day Day. I think I'm going to make his hands green. Yeah, it look better. It more balances, see? <laughs> He doesn't need gloves. Unless that's his power. What if his power is he needs gloves? See, it should be. I know he has one arm. Yeah, one arm is exposed. He does have gloves on. Hope that hopefully I didn't ruin it. You can't ruin anything, Baltazar. I'm gonna just do do what I gotta do, you know? Do what I gotta do. I do what I feel, like Obi-Wan has taught me all these years. You must do what you feel is right, of course. You must do what you feel is right, of course. That meant you were already supposed to know that, of course. You must do what you feel is right, of course. 
I'm gonna go with that pink. I'm gonna go pink and put some highlights. Check this out. Like this is how I color the Cardinal Hulk's pants. I add pink first. You must do what you feel is right. Of course. Of course. That's the part that makes you think twice. If he just said, do what you feel is right. But he says, you must do what you feel is right. Of course. Of course I'm trusting your judgment. Just make sure you do what you feel is right. That's what he tells him. That's what Luke's. Then he stuttered right there. He went, oh, I can't get involved. Well, little did he know those prequels were, or those sequels were coming. If he knew that he was in a die on a rock, <laughs> then he probably would have stayed home. So I'd rather die on the, in the desert. Then Ray's going to bury those. He's going to bury the lightsabers in, her back, in his backyard anyway. Should have stayed there because that's where he came back anyway. Like how often do you go back and visit your childhood house? I don't know many people who do. You might drive by it. You might, you might visit it. But normally when you move, that's it. You're gone. But in Star Wars, you keep going back to that house in the desert, that igloo. Everything revolves around it for the last 80 years. Little baby Anakin was born and raised there. See, I'm going to try it right now with his stupid uncle and a stupid aunt. <laughs> and they're coming back for the Obi-Wan series. Did you see that? That I'm excited about, though. I just said the stupid stuff to be funny. Look at I gave him diapers. I gave him diapers, see, and he doesn't have them in the comic. Let's see, does he have them? No, he does not have shorts. Look, they went with details, though. Look at why did they have to do that? They went detail on his uh, regional area. Look, here he is teamed up with Man Thing. See, this is cool. I like all these monster guys. I like when characters. I like when characters are not human. When they're monsters or some kind of weird transformation type of guy. Like, this guy's cool, man. I wish I created this guy. He's got great colors, too. But these are traditional Marvel colors with the green and purple. We're going to cancel you, Baltazar, for showing, you, for showing that regional area. Sorry, man. Sorry. I thought it was funny. I like when stuff's funny. How about this, Baltazar? Hey, look how cool he looks. I want to create a character like this. It's purple, purple and green. So, if I didn't have the green hands, he would look like that. I think he looks better with the green hands. I took liberties. I took liberties and precautions. Take that, Baltazar. I know, man. How about this guy? Should he be a... Should I put some color on him? I don't know what color he should be. I'm not going to look him up. I looked him up once before I drew it. I'm going to leave him like that. Get some red eyes. And they got red eyes. He had some red eyes. That makes sense, Baltazar. Who are you talking to? Talking to Adam and Michael. I see Adam. I see Michael. I see Deep Red. I see all these people. I see Joe Fitz. J Fitz. Is it? I'm remembering now. My memory. I'm selecting the memory. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to add some yellow to that. Even though it's going to ruin my yellow right now. Look at that. Before I color it, I got to get rid of this. Because now it's got smudge on it. Now it's got smudge. I got to get the red off it. Let's probably go light first. There it is. Just got to get it off. I kind of like it. Let me add some yellow around it. Yeah, look at that. 
That's cool. That was unprecedented. That was unplanned. People were like, hey, man, did you see what he's doing, man? That was weird, man. I never saw a cartoonist guy do that before, man. But he did, man. I saw it, man. He had some... He had some darks to his face. Ooh, I hear my daughter playing Bohemian Rhapsody right now on a piano. She knows how. Look at him. I'm going to add some darkers. Look at that. I want to find out if Marvel's still using this guy. Because I want to use him. I think I'm going to use him in Powers in Action. I don't think I could, though. Because he belongs to Marvel. Hey, man, you can't use him, man. It's Marvel's guy, man. I'm going to make a guy that looks like this. I kind of did. I got a guy named Darkstorm who is going to go through some transformations. He's going to become... He's going to become the leader of a planet. Because that's where the amulet banished him to this planet. But little did he know that he likes it there. <laughs> he likes it on that planet. He banished him to a planet and he liked it. He said, hey man, this feels good here, man. I'm going to take it over, man. That's what he said. Okay, yeah, let's see. Let's do some concrete. It's going to be like concrete ground here. I'm going to add some brown. Pop some color. Like that. What color should that be? I don't want it to be pink. Pink or blue. Blue will set that guy back. And yeah, maybe pink. Maybe a... Let's see. Let's try it. Maybe a little pink, yeah. Can you guys see it? Does it look good? A blue. I'm going to do blue for the buildings. Because it'll be far enough away from there. It's not touching them, see? It's the touch of the... The touch of the... I'm going to add more darks. What if I make this guy... I'm going to make him supernatural, watch. I'm going to give him green hands, too. Now he's an alien. Now you don't know. Is it an alien underneath that mask? It looks like an alien. Add some green hair. He might be an alien. See that? Look at that. That's cool. That's cool, man. There's a fuzzy on my crayon. Possible spider web. Spider web or cobweb. There are spiders down here. They come visit me all the time. None of them have bit me yet. I want to get bit. See if I get powers, but they won't do it. They like me. They're not vampire spiders. But man, a vampire got me Sunday night, man. That's why I thought yesterday was Sunday. I watched, you know what screws me up is these um West Coast baseball games. Cause um I'm trying to watch my White Sox and they don't finish till like two in the morning. Plus uh, plus I press pause, I go pick up people, I go drive people places, and I come back to enjoy my game. And they're still playing, and then when they lose, I'm like, man, now I'm going to be real tired tomorrow. 
but I watched him. That guy, your mean Mercedes is on fire. Not on fire. He's not burning, but he's just a like real good, hot player, man. Just doing so good on the Sox. He's breaking all kinds of records. He's fun to watch. So I like watching the Sox. I got to do it, man. It's my team. I'm trying to. I'm trying to quit baseball, but it's not taking too well. So henceforth, I will embrace it. I watched every game this year so far. It's only been about six games, but I watched them. Maybe even less than that. Maybe five games. But I'm watching them, man. I'm watching them. They're cool. They're good. I like them. All right, look at that. He's coming through. This is happening. This one's happening, man. It's happening. Brighten this up a little bit. I'm going to have to add some yellow. Because then if I add yellow, it'll bring that yellow down. Normally, I add yellow first, but in this particular situation now, I did not know I would need it henceforth. Bring it in and now, but it has enough light colors around it where it won't, it won't quite get too dirty. I like that word. It won't quite get too dirty. It won't quite get too dirty, but you know what I mean. But I, don't, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but if you know what I mean, then I am saying it right. It won't quite get too dirty. Look at that. See, the green really pops out this orbital fellow. Mm, not are both green. They're going to fight. See, I like characters like that where I don't know if they're human. I don't think they are. They're not human, man. It doesn't look human to me, man. I'm going to add some. This purple is cool. Like this. Magenta. It's called Cerises. Why is it called Cerises? This one's called Red Violet, but they're the same. This one's called Cerisi. Cereza. Cerise. I don't know if I've ever used Cerise color. Cerises. Cerises pieces. But I'm using it now. I'm going to make my drawing epic. People say that. I'm going to make it epic, man. It's epic. Epic's okay. I'm, I'm still okay with that word. I don't like when they say, you hit it out of the park. I don't like that. I don't like under the bus. <laughs> it's under the bus, man. See, so yeah, you don't normally use this blue violet, but I need to make this darker. The blue violet's a junky color. It's okay. When you need it, you need it. Henceforth, I'm using it right now. So I guess I like it right now. But when I pick it up and I use it and I don't want it, that gets me upset. Like, oh, I didn't want that color. I didn't want it on there, man. It's true. Look at that. I'm going to add some white. What if I get a white crayon? I'm going to add it to him. I'm going to find a white crayon. I'm going to show you some technique. This is going to look good. My crayons from real far. Plus, my old man legs hurt. But the good thing about all of this right now happening is my daughter is playing Here Comes the Sun by George Harrison and the Beatles on her piano right now. And it sounds wonderful. Look at it. Look at this white crayon. Giant white crayon. It's called Blanco. White Blanco Blanc. And I'm going to add some highlights. Watch this. I don't even know if it's going to work. 
Oh, look at that. It does work. Look at that. Just to let us know that we didn't forget about you, man. I know you're just a black silhouette. We did not forget. I'm gonna add some highlights to you, man. Cause he's got Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Now she's playing Blackbird. Blackbird fly. I hear it. Yeah, that's good. But these are the three. I finished my commissions for today. I'm going to put them in the middle. Or maybe this guy. Maybe the light one in the middle. I finished my commissions for today. I'm going to wrap these up. I'm going to mail things. These look cool. I'm going to wrap things up. I'm going to mail things. Maybe, maybe, maybe make a trip to the post office today. Well, probably not till tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'll wake up. I'll get refreshed. I'll have coffee. I'll head out. And then I'll do my thing. But today I'm wearing a Superman shirt. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. I'm going to stretch it. See him? Superman, 40th anniversary. I know you guys like that part. But these are cool. If you guys want one of these and you like what you see, I draw these for $50 a piece. Or for two guys like this is sixty dollars for two guys, and then send me PayPal Arthur Baltazar at yahoo.com. Same thing as my email, and um, I will send it to you. I draw them here live on the show, and it's kind of fun. Before I answer your questions again, let's take a swig. That was delicious. I'm gonna scoot these over a little bit. Scoot. I'm gonna scoot my candies over a little bit. So you guys can see them in their fuller potential. Let us see. I'm going to read some questions you have. Comments. Questions or comments. If there's any, we will see what we'll see. Let's see it, man. Let's see it. Let's see, let's see. I like this one. Shut up and draw boxes are. Here we go. How do we get a request to commission? Um just send me some PayPal and um my um my PayPal address is Arthur at yahoo.com. Send me um $50 for one guy. $60 for two guys, and then send me PayPal and let me know what you want. It's real easy. Or you can write to me on Messenger. Write to me somewhere. I'll send you the info. That'd be good, too. So don't fear. Your White Sox will be just fine. I think so, too. They're, um, the White Sox are not getting blown out. They're not losing the games. They're just not winning them. Like, I think they're th two and three now. So this is no bad, no, no big deal. But they did really good. Their pitching is really good. They're not losing by a lot. So I'm okay so far. And even Ozzy says, it's only the first week. It's not a disaster. And I agree. I'm having fun watching them. But I keep thinking, what are the odds they're going to win the World Series? They won one time in my in my life. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I think it will. <laughs> Johnny Fitz says, cool. Hey, I'm looking for a new job. Looking for an assistant or employee at Aya Comics. Um, not really, Johnny Fitz. we got enough people. As far as the, as far as the comics go, we kind of do our own thing. We kind of do our own thing, our own publishing. I see, a, I see something on here that I want to fix. I see it on a small screen, see? He wants this. He needs a little bit of color. 
There you go. That's all it was. I saw that imperfection. But I appreciate you wanting to work at all your comics. But right now, I don't think we need guys. We got number one and Ewan is working there. And Mari was on there on the weekends. Or you could try asking number one. But I don't know if we need guys, man. I don't want to just steer you along. I don't think we need guys. Because we are on, we have limited hours because of these times of crisis. But we will be, uh, you never know, man. Just contact them, maybe it'll happen. This guy is the one who grew up in the Breaking Bad house. Right, man? That'd be cool to grow up there. I visited the house and the lady yelled at me. <laughs> I got a, I did a video. I got a video. Uh, I got to finish still. It's in my iPad and I can't get it out of there. I don't know what's happening. Oh, yeah, Baltazar. How's your day? My today, officially today is called Happy Good Today Today. Happy Good Today Day. That's what it is. Happy Good Today Day. And it's going all right. Spider art, spider art. Swings around with a big old heart. Spider art, spider art. Yeah. You're a good man, sir. Johnny Fitz, I'm trying to produce colors. Pronounce colors. Yeah, man. You just got to take the colors and go them. You got to make, make them yours. Things aren't looks great. Thank you, D. Brad. You're a good man. Wait, did I hear cats and wings mentioned? You might have. I might have to do this. Perhaps, yes. You're always tempting me, sir. Always tempting me. I'm going to try to do something today. I have to wrap up these things. And uh, probably head out tomorrow. We'll see if you're around tomorrow, man. Maybe I'll text you. Maybe I'll text you see what's happening. You guys are awesome. I feel like I should reveal something to you. Should I reveal something? Or save it for another time? I'm about to reveal. I'm going to reveal something that I got around Christmas time. It's in here. I got this around Christmas time. But I wanted to save for a reveal show. But the reveal show will happen. I'm going to put them on there. Look at what I got. I got a Peter Potamus bubble bath silky toy. But he's also a bank. And he's got the bank slot thing on the bottom. I think he is a see, Purex. It's soap. But there was soap in here at one point. I don't know how you got the soap out because there's no lid. You would probably have to get it out of this. But I'm not even going to try. I don't know if it stinks in there. <laughs> I don't know what is in there. It looks pretty good. But I'm going to leave him. This is Peter Potamus. He's hard to find. And he's a real good shape, good colors. So I like him. I just got him. I got him around um, Christmas time. But I just never uh, revealed. He's been in this plastic bag. He's going back in there. But that's not true, man. I'm going to do this again. There will be another time I do this. I'm going to wrap these up. I'm going to, I put them on cardboard and I wrap them up with like um, uh, newsprint paper. I got newsprint pads. I got a whole bunch of newsprint pads. I used to draw for kids. I used to teach when I was like my early 20s. And I still have the pads because I draw them. When I would draw for the kids, I would draw with big, big crayons. I would draw like a big, big thick crayon, like the big kind like this. And I draw real big, and the kids would draw with me. But I haven't done that in a while. I got busy doing things. I got busy working with uh, Disney, and then I started uh, working in a comic shop at the time. But I never went back. But I knew if I had to, I would. I like it. I was almost going to teach at that International School of Art Design, the cartooning school downtown Chicago. But um, our schedules, my schedule got busy, and then my girl who was processing, she disappeared. So I don't know what happened. But one day, I'll get back to teaching. But in the meantime, I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the, uh, 
new sprint boards to wrap these up. Look at I got this. This is going to be a this is gonna be on one of my fit characters one day. Like that. Yeah. But you guys are awesome. I would do this again. I'm gonna wrap these up today. And uh, I might grab some lunch or something. See what the kids are doing. Today's their last day home until tomorrow. They go back to physical school. In-person school. I don't know what they're calling it. In-person or physical. But they're going tomorrow. And to the rest of the year. So next month and a half, two months before they get out of school. They usually finish June. By before June 1st. They're out like March, May 25th or something like that. But I will see you guys. But remember, man. I'm going to do this again. If you guys want ask me a question, send me a message or whatever. I'll straighten out your problems. I'll solve everything. I will clear, clear, th clear the air with you. I will provide answers. <laughs> you guys are awesome. No fighting. No crying. Be nice to each other. Wake up and do the things that make you happy. That's what you did. Today is happy, happy today, day, day. Super happy, fun, happy today, day. So you missed the commission part. Well, write to me, messenger, man. It's uh, PayPal. And it'll be easier to write. I'll write to you. And then you, you can just click link. Write to me a messenger, and I will, I will set it up for you. D. Brad says, reveal. You're a good man, D. Brad. You're a good man, Kevin Bixby. You're a good man, Scotty Smith. I will see you guys again. Be nice to tell you guys are all right. Bye-bye.